Hey everyone, my name is Seth Edwards. I am a multimedia and fiction assistant at the Spartanburg County Library. Today I'm going to talk about Vicious by V.E. E. Schwab, which is one of my favorite science fiction novels. Vicious is a story that revolves around two characters, Victor and Eli. These two characters are both brilliant college students who also happen to be roommates, friends, and rivals. While they are working on a research project for one of their classes, Eli stumbles across something that seems impossible. Bizarre instances where people that have had unique near-death experiences develop, for lack of a better phrase, superpowers. However, with no actual proof that the phenomenon is possible, Eli's research appears to come to an end. That is until Victor, eager to not let Eli outshine him, suggests the unthinkable. Test the theory out on themselves by creating a scenario that will give them a near-death experience and possibly powers beyond their imagination. The downside? If they mess up, they could end up killing themselves. This book was my favorite, one of my favorite books I read in 2018, and maybe even cracks my top 10 favorite books. In other words, there's a lot of reasons why I enjoyed this book. One of these reasons is the way Vicious's plot was written. The story telling in this book is unique because instead of starting at the beginning of the story and progressing forward from the first chapter like a normal book does, Swab drops readers in the middle of the story a few years ahead of several significant events that have taken place. To explain what happened, the readers are told what these events are through a series of interspersed flashback chapters that uncover how e Victor and Eli became who they are in present day. If you like flashbacks, this kind of format will probably appeal to you, but I've also heard several people say that they found it confusing. Personally, I found it to be a fun way to read a story because as the current events of the story were progressing, I was learning more and more about what motivated the characters through the flashback chapters. So by the time the last of the flashback chapters was told, I had a solid grasp on who the characters really were. Another reason I enjoyed Vicious stems from my love of superheroes and anything to do with stories about people with special abilities. Since Swab's story is all about what it would look like, really look like if people could have superpowers, it didn't take much to sell me on the book. However, after reading the book, I actually enjoyed it for just how different it is than the average superhero story, rather than its similarity to these stories. Vicious is different from most of these stories because instead of the abilities that people gain influence them, influencing them in positive ways, like causing them to become more heroic, these people's powers traumatize them and impact them negatively. As a result, the characters become more like self-centered villains than selfless heroes. I liked this twist on a superhero tale because the characters' actions became more morally ambiguous and decisions that they made were not easily defined as either good or bad, and this made the story feel more realistic. If you're a fan of stories that have people with special powers, Swab's Vicious gives a great twist on this typical superhero story. If you pick up Vicious and enjoy it, Swab has also written a sequel to the book called Vengeful. I hope you enjoyed my book talk. Have a great day and keep reading.